An important factor to understand with the TIG process is that concerning welding currents. In any electrical circuit, electrons, which are negatively charged, flow from a negative pole through the circuit and back to the positive pole of a power source. In a welding circuit, electrons move from the negative pole and are forced to jump across a small air gap in order to reach the positive pole. This action of the electrons results in the welding arc. The heat generated in the welding arc causes the shielding gas to ionize. Gas ions are positively charged particles and they move in the opposite direction to electrons. Electrons effectively carry about 70% of the arc heat and place this onto the positive pole of the arc. Ions effectively carry about 30% of the arc heat and place this heat onto the negative pole of the arc. Welding circuits may be configured in the following ways. Direct current, straight polarity, direct current reverse polarity, and alternating current. Straight polarity means that the electrode is connected to the negative connection of the power source. The base metal is connected to the positive connection. This configuration is also known as DCEN, meaning direct current electrode negative. In this configuration, the electrons move across the gap from the negative electrode and into the positive base metal. The gas ions, being positively charged, move in the opposite direction to the electrode. Straight polarity results in a weld with deep penetration because the majority of the arc heat is concentrated at the positive terminal of the arc, that is, the base metal. Straight polarity is the most usual polarity for TIG welding with DC current. Reverse polarity, not surprisingly, is the opposite of straight polarity. Here, the electrode is connected to the positive connection of the power source and the base metal to the negative. Reverse polarity is also known as DCEP, meaning direct current electrode positive. With reverse polarity, 70% of the heat moves to the electrode, which is why the use of reverse polarity is limited to relatively low welding currents. Reverse polarity is best suited for thin metal, as it results in a weld with shallow penetration. One advantage with DCEP is the cleaning action it has upon metal surfaces. Let's explain this. On some metals, a layer of oxide will develop in the area ahead of the weld pool. This oxide layer, if not removed, will prevent the weld pool from flowing smoothly along the joint to be welded. In the reverse polarity mode, gas ions are attracted to the base metal where they literally bombard the metal like the pellets of a shotgun. This bombardment of ions breaks away the oxides, leaving a clean surface onto which the molten weld pool will flow. It must be noted that with straight polarity, there is no cleaning action. The third current selection used with TIG is alternating current with high frequency, or ACHF. When connected to an AC supply, the polarity changes continuously at the electrode at a frequency of 50 times per second from positive to negative. AC is effectively a combination of DCEN and DCEP. Alternating current provides both the penetration of a negative electrode and the cleaning action of a positive electrode. In practice, AC must be stabilized using high frequency, or HF as it is known. With certain metals, notably aluminium, high frequency stabilization is essential in order to maintain the arc. Most good TIG welding machines will offer a high frequency function. In TIG processes, 
ACHF is used primarily when welding metals such as aluminium and magnesium alloys.